In this section, I will talk about the wizard check builder. In the wizard check builder, what I have is a brand new check set, and it's completely blank. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the wizard check builder. Here, I have four options. Let's say that I want to uh, check my model on doors. The first option here says that this will fail if it finds matching elements. So let's say that I don't want a particular door. If I don't want a particular door or a door type, this would be the check that I want. Because if the door is inside my model, it will fail when it finds that matching element. Let's say that I want to make sure that a particular door does exist. This check will fail if it does not find the matching element or the matching door. Let's say that I want to count how many doors I actually have. This check will count the matching elements. This can be by whole doors or maybe a door type. This check will list matching elements just in a list format. For this, I'm going to say this check will list matching elements. As I continue through the wizard, this will allow me to build out my check. I could say I am checking on model elements in my model, such as architectural, MEP, or structural. Checking on annotative elements, these are tags and symbols. A datum or like location elements, levels, rooms, grids, areas, reference planes. I'm checking on views in my models. And I'm checking on elements that may impact model integrity. In place families, duplicate elements, masses, things like that. Since I'm checking on doors, I'm going to say I am checking model elements in my model. Here, I'm going to say I am looking for architectural elements, but I can continue to build this out either MEP elements or structural elements. And since I know it's going to be doors, I'm going to say this is the model category that I want to check. I simply hit continue. And here I can add in filters, which can allow me to uh, filter out elements in the categories I selected. Or I could say this check only checks if there are instances in the categories placed in the model. I am done building this check and ready to name it. So since I had the check actually just want to list out what elements I have on my model, I'm actually done with this particular check. I'm going to name this check as doors placed. And in the description, I'm going to effectively type in list of doors placed in the model. When I am done, I simply click on finish. When I click on finish, now it brings me back to the wizard. Now that I created my check, I can come right over here to structure. Something you'll notice is that I did not have a structure already created. Also something that you'll notice is that the check that I just created is over here in the unused checks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a heading in section for it. I'm going to add in a heading. I'm going to call this architectural elements. I'm going to add in a section here and I'm going to label it doors. Now that I have my heading and my section, I can now take doors placed and place it right underneath that section. You'll notice that with this check, it comes in with this check preview. It tells me the name, description, if I run, want to run it as default, what the result is, this is count and list of matching elements. And here, this is the preview of what the logic is for that particular check. Note that I can duplicate this check, delete this check, and edit this check. If I do choose to edit this check, please note 
that it will no longer take you to the wizard section. It will take you into the advanced checker. This is a good way for you to understand just how the wizard built this check so that you can continue to use the advanced feature in the model checker configurator for Revit to build other advanced checks. Let's build another check. I'm going to come over here to model checker builder. I'm going to say I need this check to fail if it does not find matching elements. For this, I'm actually going to look for model elements, but I'm going to look for specific MEP elements. Here, I'm going to look for air terminals. I want to make sure that my air terminals are actually inside my model. I'm going to click on continue. Now I can add in filters. Something to note with filters is that this is a good way for you to specify that you want to look for specific types. So let's say that I do have my 1x4 air terminals, but I want to make sure that I have 2x2 two two air terminals. I can certainly add in a filter that allows me to look for 2x2 two two air terminals. If I click on filters, I can say include elements that meet the following filter or exclude the elements that meet the following filter. In this, I want to make sure that I do have them placed inside my model. So I want to include elements that meet my following filter. When I do that, I can say look for a specific parameter, phase, host, maybe a work set, option, family name, level, room or space. Here I can just say family name and I can say it needs to contain two by four. Sorry, two by two. Now the reason why I'm saying contains and does not equal is because sometimes I might have air terminals that have two by two but are of a different make or a different kind. Maybe a return versus a supplied air terminal. But I want to make sure that it actually looks for or contains 2x2. Two two. I can click on continue. I can add in another filter to break it down even further, or I am done building this check and ready to name it. The name of this check, I'm going to say air terminals 2x2 two two placed. In the description, I'm going to say checks for air terminals 2x2 two two are placed in the model. And if the check fails, I'm going to say no 2x2 two two air terminals are placed in the model. Once I'm done, I can say finish. At any point, I can always go back or restart building my check. And again, since I finished that check, come right over here to structure, I can add in my heading. And call this mechanical, add in a section for error terminals, and then of course place that there. If I am done with my check set, of course I can come over right over here to save or save as.